Hi planner friends, it's Marcia with Buy Sell Plan. In today's video, I will be recapping the month of May and planning for the month of June. So I have some tools here, my tweezers for stickers and decorating my goal page for the month with these beautiful um, stickers that are from Franklin Planner. And I think my monthly spread as well, be a combination of these. I, I feel like these complement each other quite well. So I have those in case I want to use them. And these uh, dot stickers that I got from Amazon, I feel some of the colors complement these stickers for my um, the days that I have appointments. I have a tool here because I will be switching binders and I th I'm thinking of going into my Sailor Blue binder for the month of June, in which case I will have to transfer my one and a half inch rings. So I have this as well. So I'm just gonna set these aside for now. And let's grab my task card, which I get these from Poi and Hun. They are linked below so that I can stay on track make sure that nothing gets missed with my um, my recap. Okay, so first things first, we're going to recap the month and where I am year to date. So as you know, I do that on the first page of my dailies. I don't I don't use this for archiving. I only archive on the at the beginning of the month because I don't need more than one page for archiving so then I use this page for my goals now I need to go to my weekly not my wellness my weekly and you know what I'm going to do actually I'm going to take this first page out that way I don't have to flip back and forth because I need to total up my numbers for the month and which I, um, on the back of my weekly, um, my weeklies on the weekly notes section is where I calculate my numbers each week. So I'm just gonna add all of those up and put them in, where did I put my month goal? Here, my, here are my month goals. So I'll put down what I actually did and then we'll count everything up to see where I am year to date um, and then set my goals for next month, for the month of June. Okay, so I'm probably going to speed this part up because um, it's not that exciting to watch me count numbers. So I'm going to put my actuals. Oh my gosh, I just, I can't talk and spell at the same time. I knew that didn't look right. There we go. My actuals. Okay, so I'm gonna, um, I am going to count all of that and I'll be back. Okay, so as far as my numbers for the month of May, I hit two of my two out of five goals. So I needed 22 leads and I generated six. So I have a deficit of 16. The goal was 140 contacts and I did 178. So that's, we're ahead by 38. Um, the goal was to book four appointments. I did book four appointments, three contracts. Uh, sorry, the goal was four contracts. We signed on three new clients and then four homes sold and we sold two. So we have a deficit of two. Okay, now as far as my habits, movement, minimum of five times a week. I think I did pretty good with that. Uh, let's uh, quickly take a look at my movement for the month. Okay, so the first week I did one, two, three, four, five. So five times the first week. Okay. Second week, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Third week, one, two, 
three, four. Let's say four. Well, I did do 10 minutes and then stretched. So times five. And then this past week was one, two, three, four, five, six. So yes, I hit that goal. I did a four kilometer walk. Okay, so that's good. Uh, the next was to improve my sleeping habits, to be in bed by midnight. I, I know for sure I didn't do that. Time block CEO time. Yes, we did that. Um, went to work on our business. Read three times a week. I did not do that one. So I do feel it was a more productive month and I um, did better with a lot of my sharpen the saw goals and some of my business goals um, because of making sure that I'm exercising consistently and the time blocking definitely has helped and less social media, of course. Okay, less social media helps help everything, doesn't it? Am I right? Okay, let's, I don't think I put that in there. I think I put that in the business section. Yes, I did. Okay, so let's just see where I am year to date. Okay, so I was at 222 contacts at the oh never mind i have to add i have to add them all up um let's put my numbers in actually i don't want to use it different pen hang on a second month recap yes and year to date okay so i'll make sure i'm not jumping ahead i i get like that i get excited and then i just start going where my brain wants me to go. So uh, contacts last month were 178. And then leads were six. Appointments booked, four. Contracts signed were three. Firm deals. So firm deals aren't necessarily the same as transactions because sometimes if a transaction is conditional, then it's not firm yet. It's not a firm deal until it has all any conditions have been fulfilled. So the month of May is where we're at, right? So that's closings. Where are my we had three firm deals and they were all buyers. So three firm deals. Okay, so that is done. And then now, well that's uh, quarter two, I think I'm good there. Okay. And then let's put them in here. Where am I for the year so far? And I think I'm going to need, I could add all of these up or, or I could grab last month's, so April, that's March, or I could grab April, and count off here. Which do I want to do? Set that over there. Okay. So year to date, I was at, so for leads 128 plus, leads were six last month. So that's 134 leads. Contacts were 897 plus 178. So it's 1,000. 1,075. So contacts aren't the issue. 
appointments, the goal was, oh, 25 is where I was at. 25 plus four more appointments is 29 appointments. Contract signed, 20. And I did three more last month, so we're at 23. And then home sold, I was at 21. And now we're at, and plus three more, so we're at 24 now. So, I mean, I'm ahead. We're ahead for the year. So we're definitely on pace. Uh, let's see where I'm at here. So one, oh yeah, 134 minus 125. So I'll, that's plus nine. 1075 minus 692 is plus 383. Um, 29. So we're plus seven for appointments. Plus four for home sold. And we are plus seven for transactions. So pretty good, pretty good. I'm happy with that. I am happy with that. Okay. This is me, put this one away. Okay. See, which is why if you've been following me the last couple of weeks, I've been making my focus more on um, servicing my database, not focusing so much on generating more leads or generating more contacts, like more conversations. Um, I have a lot of people in my database, close to 900 now of people that we need to service. So instead of doing lead generation for more business, um, my focus needs to be on servicing what I already have and what I've worked so hard for over the last five years of filling my database with um, potential buyers and sellers. So that's what I need to do is, um, so that's why I've been focusing on contacting all of the leads that I generated in 2020 and 2021, because they were such busy years, like 2020 was our best year yet. Um, over those, you know, at that point, four years, and now we're in our fifth year. And um, so far, this is shaping up to be our best year yet. So there really hasn't been time to do all of the follow-up that I need. So I'm going to, I've been putting a pause on the lead generation and focusing on the follow-up. So, but I am still, when I do my goals for June, I am still going to put numbers because I can't lose sight of the numbers. I do have to hit the numbers. That's what sales is all about. Um, it's just not such a heavy focus each week on contacts and generating more leads. If that makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, feel free to ask me some questions if you'd like more uh, clarification. And I'd be happy to explain the method to my madness. <laughs> okay, so that's my monthly recap year to date. So I have that in there. Um, the month of May. I don't think there's anything else. I do my social tracking in a minute. Don't have to fill this in yet until the end of June. And that's it for that. Great. Now we transfer tasks. So if I go to the month of May, I don't want to forget to put this away because I did that last time I remember. And then I kind of lost where I, was, where I was. Okay, so what I'm going to do, put these back. I've started on my June tasks. I'm going to take the month of June out because I have to um, plan for it anyways. So, transfer tasks. So this is just kind of as time has gone on, when I think of something that needs to get done, I've just been putting it in here just so I don't forget. So now what I'm going to do is look through this and see what is still important and I'm going to transfer it over and what is no longer appointment and I'm just gonna forget about it. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. So I'll speed this part up. Okay, this is all I can think of off the top of my head. I'll probably add to this as I go. Um, a lot, got a lot to get done this month, that's for sure. 
I need to look actually at my closings. Uh, let's see how many closings we have this month. That's a good start. I think this is the biggest um, master task list I've had yet. <laughs> Just shows how much there is to get done. Um, okay, and then checking, I'm going to go to my goals tab here. Next on my list is to check for um, quarterly goals. And you know what? I haven't been, I was so good at the beginning of the year, I just wrote down everything that needed to get done by the end of the first quarter. And we literally got every single thing done um, on the list, which is probably why we had such a good start. And I don't have a big quarter two um, list because at this point, oh, we have great momentum. So it's really just, um, you know, really like a pretty well-oiled machine. I mean, definitely have room for improvement and, and um, you know, keep getting better. Hey, where the heck is it? I guess I probably accomplished them and I took it out because I don't need it anymore. So that was the quarterly goals to make sure that I'm on, on pace with hitting what I needed to hit by the end of um, the second quarter. And, you know, really what I need to do, this is why I wrote on here, systems need to be solid. We have pretty good systems in place, but we need them to be even more solid. And as I'm doing my brand strategy course, I'm learning that there's still a lot in terms of the social media side of our business um, that we can improve upon. Um, okay, that's good. Alrighty, so then this month's goals, let's do that. So that is going to go... I already took it out, right? I thought I did. No, you know what it was? It was last month's. So I need to go back to my dailies here. This one. June. My June index. This is where the goals are going to go. This is where the goals are going to go. So I'm going to do a little decorating. I don't know if you guys want to, um, do you want me to speed this up? I don't know. I'm just going to kind of go with it. And, because you know, I look at this every week when it's pretty. So I need to decorate a little bit and I don't do decorative planning anymore. So this is sort of my next best, you know, thing. It helps me, helps me to, you know, get that creative or decorative part that I, that got me into, you know, back into to planning a few years ago. So I want to make sure that I still have an outlet without getting ridiculous, like without it interfering with my functional planning week to week, month to month, if you know what I mean. Okay, I love these stickers. They are so pretty. And you know what? I'm, I'm probably going to be moving into my sandstone inserts and I don't know how much decorating I'll be able to do because they're not white. They're more of like a creamy, sandy kind of color. So oh, I just hit my move goal. Okay, let's see here. This is going to be... goals. I wish they gave a few pages of these of these one like these stickers because they are so gorgeous. They're good to use in memory planning too. Oh, I hope I can fit two more letters in here. G O A L S. I did it. Just, but I did it. So goals and habits. Yeah, yeah, 
good enough. All right, so I'm going to use these. I like these here. And this is going to be number one, and this is going to be for my numbers. So I figure I'll just do this. Number one. Numbers. I want to change the order that I write my numbers. So I usually do leads, then contacts, appointments, contracts, and transactions. But it's just not making sense in my brain. It makes more sense to put them in the order that you would get them, right? So before I get a lead, I need to have the contacts. So the first number to track will be contacts. Right? Then from speaking to people, I will generate leads. From generating leads, I will book appointments. From booking appointments, I will convert them into clients. So that's contracts. Right? And then they sign a contract. I help them buy and sell houses. That leads to a transaction. So that's what makes sense in my brain. Now, as far as what my goals are, let's see here. I'm going to my goals tab again. Let's set these aside for now. So by the end of the first quarter, these are my numbers. So let's see what is left. Actually, I should have that already, shouldn't I? Let's see, go back to my dailies here. Here we go here. For year to date. So I'm at 130, 134 leads and the goal was 150 by the end of the first quarter. So I need 16 leads this month. Okay. Contacts, 1,038. So 1,038 and I have done 1,075. So that's a, um, 37, positive 37. So I really don't need any new contacts. But I mean, I'm, it's impossible for me to um, get leads without doing the contacts. So I'm going to put negative 30 or positive 37 because I'm 37 ahead for the for year to date appointments. I have 29 appointments and I hope you guys can see this 29 appointments. I need 33. I probably don't need a calculator, but don't judge me Four. I need four appoint more appointments. Let me tell you, you guys, I have messed up the most simple math. Like my family laughs at me. I laugh at myself. I'm like, how did I screw that up? So I use my calculator all the time. Okay, so contract signed. Oh crap, am I doing this in the right order? Uh, a point. Yes, I am. Okay, contract signed. I need to have 28 contracts signed by the end of the first quarter to be on track to hit my goals for the year. And I'm at 23. So 28 minus 23, I have five. I have to sign on five new buyers and sellers this month. And then transactions, so 25 homes sold is what I need by the end of the first quarter, and I'm at 24. So I need to sell one more house. That's not gonna be a problem. Okay, so I'm gonna put these lines here. So when I finish the month, I put in what I actually got there. Alrighty, so those are my numbers by the end of June. So my focuses really are leads. We have a couple listings this, uh, we have one listing this month and one the beginning of July. So we're get, we have to leverage the crap out of that listing, which we will, and for appointments and the five contracts. So those would be my top three focuses, leads, appointments, and contracts. Okay.
good to know. That's why we, why, that's why we do this. Okay, so that's contracts or numbers. Number two. Number two. I'm going to put this one over here. I like how this is looking. Number two is going to be, I'm thinking my habit. Oh, do I want to do habits yet? Yeah, I'll do habits. Okay, so my habits are going to be Definitely, I want to continue with limiting social media. You know, each week when you want, if you've been with me for a little while, you know that I talk about that all the time, how I know I would get more done if I would do more journaling, I would do more reading, I would just get more done if I limited that and I have been making a solid effort this past week and it has been a game changer for sure. Um, and I'm liking it. I'm liking it. So that's really important to me. Okay, limit social media. Number two is going to be continuing with the journaling at least two times a week. Number three, number three, movement that my body craves. When I force, when I force it and I do exercises that I'm not feeling like it, it really, okay, I just had to make sure I was still filming. <laughs> I have a habit of um, my, I'm actually gonna unplug my AirPods. I'm gonna plug in my phone. I don't want, hi. I don't want it to stop recording because I've run out of juice. Okay. Um, yeah, so when I force movement, that my body's not really craving. I'm like, oh, I need to do strength training. So I should do that. Or I need to go, you know, for an intense hike. I should do that. Even, you know, if my body doesn't want to, and I pay for it, I pay for it. So I've learned the hard way to not force it and just do what, what feels good. So that's going to be my focus, not setting a goal of how many times per week or anything like that. Again, it's just listening to my body. Okay. I'm going to set one more goal. And these things are going to help me hit my numbers because they are going to help me feel uh, balanced. And that's important. If I don't feel balanced, everything in my life suffers and my business suffers. And I, in order for me to be um, like working at a high level in my business, I have to be balanced. I've learned that. I can't just fake it. Um, okay, so reading. I want to finish... Um, inner child book and the workbook because if uh, you've been following me for a while you know that I was doing emotional healing with um, Rachel Hope and these were phone calls and zoom calls and I haven't been doing that since before Christmas. I took some time off because it's it's hard work. It's very draining. It's very emotionally draining. So what I want to do is finish the inner child book because some of my um, sessions that I do with her are on inner child. And that was something that was so new to me and foreign to me that I, I didn't feel the sessions were as good as they could have been. So this is a big reason why I'm reading this book and doing going through the workbook as well so that when I do the healing with her, I've already done some of the work on myself and then she can just help me um, you know, heal even more or, or take it to the next level, if that makes sense. So that is my goal. Number three. This is looking really cute. Numbers, habits. Um, I don't really need to do year to date here because 
actually, maybe I will. I was just thinking I, I may not need to do that because um, I'll be putting my June numbers in here when June is over and then I'll be doing my quarterly recap. So, but you know what? I think I still will. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. Uh, hang on. Let me, let me just talk this through here because if I do that, then because, 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 because here's where I need to be by the end of the first quarter, which is year to date. So I don't really need to do that on the home page. These are the numbers. These are where I need to be. So here is, here's what's left. So by hitting these, I therefore will reach all of these. So it doesn't make sense to put down here where I should be year to date. Does that make sense? So yeah, I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to put on here focus. Okay. And this focus is going to help me hit these numbers. So the focus, focus number one, is to leverage um, our listing. To get leads. Okay, so what is that going to look like? That's going to look like door knockers. So depending if the stay at home order is lifted, it's supposed to be listed, listed. <laughs> Um, lifted by mid-June and therefore our listing goes on market the week after so then we should be able to door knock again um, so that we can actually speak to potential sellers um, but anyhow we're gonna have our door knockers prepared because then if they don't answer the door we still leave the door knocker but if we're not allowed to do an or door door knocking we will still leave these behind we're gonna do what we can we're gonna do circle prospecting So what that means is we will be calling, we're gonna cold call, cold call and door knock um, the 100 houses around the listing to let them know because you know people wanna know when a house in their neighborhood is gonna be hitting the market. So we like to do that a week before we go on market to give them a heads up and then they watch for it on realtor.ca and we collect their information, database them um, hopefully and keep them updated on how it sells because that is a direct reflection of their equity and potentially what their house could sell for. It's a great way, great way to build rapport and um, generate potential business. So door knockers, circle prospecting. Okay, so number two, I think that's all. And of course, all of our regular stuff that we do, but these are some extra things um, that, um, so we have our new buyer's agent on our team and he has not been on our team yet with an active listing. So we need to teach him how to do these things too. So don't, I don't want to lose sight of that. Number two will be database. Okay, so what does that look like? 2020 and 2021. Oops. Leads. I want to have those all contacted by the end of, as soon as possible. Twenty twenty and twenty twenty one leads, and I need to do my quarterly calls. Okay, and then okay, that's all I'm going to put there for now. Okay, so leverage and then the database. I think that is it. Those are the main things that we need to focus on. Okay, that's good. I like it. Do you like it? I like it. Alrighty, what's next? Last task list this month's goals, schedule my month. Okay, so I need to, before I do that, <laughs> don't wanna lose my page. I'm probably going to speed this part up because I've been doing a lot of talking. You guys let me know. Did you like me talking through this or do you prefer it sped up and then and then have me explain it after? 
uh, let me know what you like, what you prefer, what works for you, because I want to make sure that it's engaging, it's not boring for you. Um, but I also want to make sure that it's I'm providing value for you and that you are, hopefully, I'm giving you ideas that you could implement in your own um, planning. So yeah, let me know. So I'm going to speed this part up. I'm just going to look through these stickers and see how I want to decorate, if at all. We'll see. I have some ideas. I'll be back. Okay, it's done. I hope you're still with me. Um, yeah, so everything that I know of right now that is already pre-planned and scheduled is in here. I like, I used the day of the week. I mean, what else am I gonna use these for? So I figured why not use them in this spread? So I like it. And then these cute little bows. So um, birthdays are going to go here, closings here, this month's legend. So I know what the colors are. So as things get added on, I'm using the right color to indicate what it's for. Um, I do know of a very special, two very special birthdays this month. So I'm just going to quickly grab these. Hopefully it's not, oh, it is covered up. And so I was going to try and put these in here. One of my best friends and my mother-in-law both have a birthday on the 14th. So maybe I'll just do this. There we go. That'll work. I like it. I like it a lot. So I put this in here to indicate I have the Tony Robbins Unleash Your, Your Power Within. It's a four-day conference. I hope I have the stamina for that. Um, so that's what this is for. And I have reoccurring events every Monday, every Tuesday, every Thursday. So got everything in there so nothing gets forgotten about. I'm gonna put these back in my binder. And let's see what is next. Master task list, month's goals, schedule my month, just did that, update my tracker. So the only tracker that I really need to do is my social media tracker. And I really only track, is that under goals? No, it's under business. I'm gonna be changing up just so you guys know for July. I'm, I'm not gonna be using these clear tab dividers anymore. I'm going to be using the starter um, the starter pack that came with the um, sandstone inserts. <clears throat> so I've got that done. My social tracking. So I have Facebook, my Facebook business page open here. As you can see, it doesn't grow that much. Um, mind you, I don't post as much as I should on my um, business page, my Facebook business page. But that's all going to change with my brand strategy that I'm doing, which I'm absolutely loving. Okay, I'm just checking Instagram here. 
And let's see how that has grown. 1560. So not very much. I can't do that math in my head. I mean, I could, but. So grew by 24. Seems to be the same. I don't know. I think it's rigged. 24, 21, 28, 23, 24. What do you guys think? Is Facebook and Instagram rigged? Okay. Trackers are done. Now it's time to archive. So I will be taking all of my May out. And it's always exciting when you take out I'm doing this on Sunday night because Monday, my Monday is just, my Monday and Tuesday is just too booked. So I'm gonna leave Monday in here because I need that. And I ran out of storage again. <laughs> so it stopped recording just before I did my archiving. So like I was saying, I'm keeping May 31st in here because uh, tomorrow is Monday. So I am going to need that for tomorrow. But otherwise, I did archive the month of May. So they're all in my storage binder. And I will just show you. Um, actually, it's right here. So the month of May, let me move this over and show you here. So these are the only things that I think that I may need to reference at some point in the future. There were some notes on one of them. And I think it's, is it this one? No, it's not that one. That I was like, oh, I don't want to just archive that. I want to actually put that in my existing binder um, for uh, right here for a future meeting or one of the meetings I might have this week. Just, yeah, anyways. So that was like, oh my gosh, I wrote that down for a reason. I don't want to forget about it. So I wrote it down in my business section. So everything is archived. I have the month of May in here, the weeklies and my dailies. And I have um, all of my June inserts are in here. So here's my goals page. I love how it looks out. Uh, it looks like I um, did underline those. But I figured that green color kind of goes with the um, little bit of, you know, shades of green that are in the stickers. So looks nice. And then there's Monday, uh, Tuesday rather, Tuesday, June 1st. So we are ready to go. And then as far as my weeklies, I have the month of June in here. And this is my last month using the Blooms inserts in Classic. I have enjoyed these. I've loved using them all year. So that is done. My monthly is done. I love it. I love, love, love it. My master task list. Yeah, so that is it. Now what I'm going to do is put my task card back. And I'm going to switch binders. So I'm thinking, I love this binder so much. I haven't used it, I think, since January. So it's been a few months and it's one of my favorites. This one and my blush pink vintage Aurora. I would say those are my two favorites. So I'm going to get this one set up. I do not have the rings in here. They're in my planner cart. They're the silver one and a quarter inch rings because I will not use one and a quarter inch rings with this binder. So I'm like, I'm not going to bother putting them back. So I'm going to take everything out. and transfer in here, but I can't do that until I get the rings in. So I keep, um, what I do is I take the rings from one of my vintage Auroras and I keep recycling them in the different binders. What I need to do is phone Franklin Planner and order uh, a set of gold rings so that I don't have to do that. Okay, so I need the number two. These, this is the Allen key. And I'm going to take this out. I'm going to speed this part up. If 
I don't know if you noticed, but I, I had these gold ones all the way down and then I realized I had forgotten that this particular binder needs the silver screws that came with it. I forgot that because I hadn't used this binder in a few months. So I had these in, I was like, they just don't seem to be tightening. This one did a little bit, but it was still loose. And this one, actually this one came right up. And then this one was pretty stuck in there. I had to play with it a lot. So I don't know if you noticed that, but that was what the problem was. So I'm gonna have to write that down somewhere. Okay, can we just talk about how gorgeous this binder is? Like, oh my goodness. Get rid of all the paper dust. So much paper dust. Now I am going to put, oops, get the light. I'm gonna put all of my inserts in. One thing about these Teresa Collins um, clear page lifters is they get scuffed up easily, which is kind of annoying, but what are you gonna do? So I am starting to plan out the dividers and dashboards and whatnot that I'll be using in my July setup. Yes, I'm thinking about July already. I'm going to be transferring into the, or moving into the sandstone inserts and the new Sierra binder in sagebrush for the month of July. So because they are one and a quarter inch rings, I have tried putting the one and a half inch rings in there and it doesn't work. The binder won't close properly. So I am stuck with the one and a quarter inch rings so I may have to um, purge a little bit with my binder. So we'll see how that goes. I'll do a setup video. And I'm gonna be, I'm not gonna be using these clear page dividers like I had said earlier. I'm gonna be using the, um, the ones that came with the um, sandstone inserts, this starter pack. And I had a starter pack last year the the blooms one so they were pink and they're beautiful so i've used them before and they work quite well i just have to make a table of contents so i remember what number this is me so this is gonna have to come out what number what um what's in the numbers because they're they're numbered one two three and four um so that's gonna be fun making um a table of contents that matches And if you're anything like me, you typically have to go through your binder every now and then and declutter because you just keep putting things in without taking things out. And next thing you know, it's full. So that's where I'm at right now. So this is something new. I went through all of my Tombos and wrote down the numbers uh, of the colors. This one, the number wore right off. So I have no idea what number it is, but this has been helpful when deciding what colors what colors to use. So I'll just put that in there. Oh, I just love this binder so much. It is so pretty. So we are now in the month of June. Let's see if there's anything in here I will be using. So I'm using these stickers for the week. I'll put my stencils there, my stickers there, take that out. Not sure if there's anything, oh my gosh, I totally forgot I had these. Not that we can use them right now because of COVID. <laughs> I need to have business cards with me. And that's it. That is it. These are wipes to clean my glasses or my screen, my phone screen, or my phone. Oh, I have one in here too. Or my laptop. When they get dirty and I get fingerprints on them. And then I have cards in there. So that's good. 
I like these colors with the blue. I may just leave that. I may leave that alone for now. I like the gray. Make happiness a priority and be gentle with yourself in the process. I like that. Be thankful for what you have and fearless for what you want. Absolutely. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I do like having post-its or sticky notes in there. The question is, I think this one probably suits better because of the same color palette there and then I have my peach. Okay, I'm gonna stay with this pen here. I like the clear aesthetic, that looks good. This is the highlighter I'm using this week. Um, so that could be a problem. This pen loop's not as tight as the one in here. I could have a pen loop in here and they stay snug. They don't move around. So luckily I, this binder doesn't leave the house. So should be okay. All right, that's it. That is my May recap, June setup, including being uh, going into a new binder. I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope it was valuable and you found some, um, some value to that that you can add to your own planning. And for 15% off any Franklin Planner items, use my code buy, sell, plan at franklinplanner.com. Um, and these pens here, I've been getting asked about these too. These I got from cloth and paper. They're like $5.95. And then the ink refills are under $2. And it's the Sarasa Dry uh, Air, Air Fit Grip 0 0.5, the most comfortable pen I have ever used. It is so ergonomically, like my fingers never hurt or cramp or fatigue. I just absolutely love it. Oh, that made a... I don't think it made that sound before. Okay, that's me. June is set up. I hope you guys have a wonderful week ahead and a fabulous June. And we will see you in the next video. Bye.